Hello, and welcome back to season two of Pieces of Paradise. You asked for more Paradise Gold, and we're here to deliver. The season we'll be visiting and learning about the town's water with Paradise Irrigation District, affectionately known as PID. Explore a day in the life of a Paradise police officer. Enjoy some more food that feeds our lovely town. And reflect on some major events our town has seen come back. In 2021, amidst a global pandemic, we were able to see new businesses open, children back in schools, and homes popping up left and right on the ridge. Join us as we continue to pioneer the new paradise and the wonderful pieces that make it whole. Come on, join us for Pieces of Paradise. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, welcome to Pieces of Paradise. I have the honor of actually sitting in a military police quarter ton Jeep here at the Veterans Hall. And it's a special place um, as a memorial, but also as a reflection point, especially in turbulent times. I want to say a few things about the Gold Nugget Museum with our Queen Contest coming up on the 21st of April, 2022. Why is it special? Well, anytime you have an opportunity to bolster, to celebrate, to acknowledge young women in their pursuit of all things successful, that's the event. With our six candidates this year and a review, we're gonna have an opportunity to provide for you a nice skit, a fun little playful area, as well as the Queen Contest in all its seriousness for the Gold Nugget Queen of 2022. I'd like to thank you for being with us during Pieces of Paradise here at the Veterans Memorial Hall. And in less than 30 days, we're gonna have a parade coming right down the skyway for you. Join us for the parade, April 23rd, Saturday from 12 to 1 p.m., Paradise, California. Good evening and welcome to our 2021 Gold Mega Days Clean Contest. It is so wonderful to see so many of you here this evening. I am Elizabeth Long, our current gold reigning gold, current reigning gold nugget queen, and I commence this year's 2021 Gold Nugget festivities.
year's Gold Nugget Days was an extreme success. We're looking forward to 2022 and Gold Nugget Days being brought to you by the Gold Nugget Museum, Gold Nugget Days Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the same activities relatively that we had last year, but we've enhanced several items. We've got the Gold Nugget Queen Contest, but not as a standalone, as we have a review, which is a small melodrama, a taste of paradise prior to the fire. We're bringing it back. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the hoedown at the Elks Club, the bean feed at the Methodist Church, lots of activities throughout the community. And don't forget, you'll want to be there a little bit early for the 12 to 1 parade down Skyway. So come with us and enjoy 2022 Gold Nugget Days from the Gold Nugget Museum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Mark Thorpe with the Paradise Ridge Chamber of Commerce, business advocate and executive director for Gold Nugget Museum. You're with us today as part of our Pieces of Paradise coming back to the Ridge. You have an opportunity to see what's going on at the Begalia Community Center. And as you can see behind me, we have a lot of activity planned for you. From the disc ball to the land system for children to play different video games and a band live as it should be. So come along with us. You're going to see what's happening on the Ridge. Welcome, folks, to the Megalia Community Center, Megalia Community Park. Appreciate you being here for the rib ribbon cutting. It's, it's important, as residents of the Ridge, having opportunities to have events here at the, at the Community Center is a beginning. It truly is the beginning of things yet to come. And the backside of the pandemic, the things actually starting to roll out, being safe and cautious, we're ready. So I can speak on behalf, but I'm not going to give them an opportunity to actually express a few things that the Miguel Community Center would like to, to do in the future here. What I would like to do first and foremost, so before I introduce, that there are members of the Miguel Community Center Board of Directors. If you'd raise your hand, John, I do you? Yes, yes. Thank you, Linda, Rich, Chris. These folks have been working tirelessly to make this happen. So I want you to have, yeah, I couldn't agree more. So without the countless volunteers from all over the ridge, everywhere, coming up here to actually help out, it wouldn't get done. So know that these directors are actually pushing this. If you're interested in actually helping, it'll be great. Come on out, it's your ridge. We're gonna bring it into the future of what this area is. This will be a community center for all of us. Not just Megalia, not just Sterling City, not just Paradise, but we want to attract people from all over to We're come in and tour. Can't believe it was you and me. Well, thank you, and I'm not going to say very much. I echo everything that Rich Gingery has just said. He's our chair, the chair for a reason, as you just heard. To this day, I still do not know how it came to be me to be in this position other than I'm so grateful to be a part of this group with nine exciting, talented, unique board members who all have in their individual talents and in their own ways brought recreation, another form of recreation back to Megalia and we needed it here. Uh, this site had been a wonderful site for that for 45 years and when I came back after the fire and looked around after remembering playing golf here as a kid, as a young adult, I said, no, nope, this, can't, this can't stay like this. We, as a community, have to come together and do something. The other thing we realized is that we needed a community center, a place where all of us, what we're doing now, gathering as a community. That's why we call it Miguelia Community Park Community Center. So it's very important to all of us that we're here Thank you all for being here. Appreciate your support. Uh, I'd like to pass this on over to Mark Thorpe so you can introduce our other guests that are here today. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Similar to Megalia Community Center's reopening, Many activities are opening within the community. Party in the Park being one of those for 2022, at starting on June 8th and running for eight consecutive Wednesdays beginning at 6 p.m., not 5.30, giving people the opportunity to come in when it's a little bit cooler 
as they say. So join us June 8th for eight consecutive Wednesdays, Party in the Park, Paradise, California. Yeah. And we're finally back! Yeah. After 12 plus months of isolation, we get the opportunity to come back and do this again and again each year for eight consecutive Wednesdays for 2021, yeah. ending August 4th. Please be here. So we have some firemen tripping over the top of the railing to get here. We love you guys. You know this is pretty special and I agree with you. Thank you for standing. Ladies and gentlemen, each and every day, 24 hours a day, these folks right here are protecting us from all kinds of things, not only fire, general safety, but we have the police department that works extremely hard with a stress staffing. Give them a round of applause. And you know it's pretty special when I have someone from the United States Air Force ask, are we doing anything for the EMS? Are we gonna bring them up? Well, we appreciate you, and they appreciate you. We just wanted to make sure that you were acknowledged. Thank you so much for being here. And to the Golden West Galaxy Band, bring it! As the year actually came to its end, our ever impressive Christmas light parade, truck parade as it's affectionately known in our community, did wonderfully this year for 2021. We're now into 2022, but look what we've got here. I'm sitting in front of Holiday Market, where actually it started as a Christmas light parade at the Ace Hardware, came approximately two miles to the Holiday Market area where I'm currently located, and it all in celebration of all things Christmas and celebration of the things that we have. 
So we'd like to thank Eric Kagan Martin, his wife, and their participation in actually holding this event and sharing it with our community. Twenty twenty one was a huge year for Paradise and all of its residents. However, we're only three months into twenty twenty two, and I can already can't wait for all the wonderful new people, places, and pieces of Paradise that will be joining us. I'm Mark Thorpe. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Pieces of Paradise. Mm -hmm.